Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Rolling with Jackie, and today I'm touching down in Miami, Florida. Yes, I'm here with my dear friend in support of her tummy tuck and breast implants, otherwise known as a make mommy makeover. Yes, and we are arriving a little early, so we rented an Airbnb. We're on our way now to get something to heat, and here we go. Hooters! Yes, we're here in Hooters getting something to eat as we wait for our Airbnb to become available. Wow, how beautiful this place is. You come upstairs and you have the living room with a Juliet balcony, a nice big screen TV. It's an open um, concept. Here's the kitchen. Everything looks good. We went shopping for some stuff and i'm going to take you now down to where the bathroom here it is your basic bathroom walk-in shower toilet and sink and come on down and i believe this may be the washer and dryer yes i was correct it's the washer and dryer and we go out there's a little balcony and i believe these stairs lead up to the pool on the rooftop however i'm not heading up there no 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 that's too steep for me not happening so here we go this is my designated bedroom right here looks good pretty basic and uh, here we have the closet looks good lots of shelves and iron and some pillows and I just hung my jacket in here yep so that's your basic room right here looks nice mm-hmm this is Hi guys, I'm here in Miami. Yes, it's going to be part fun, part work. Yes. Well, 90% work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so outside of YouTube, I am a nurse. I'm a licensed practical nurse and I'm here today with my dear friend, my bestie. Hmm, she's here for a breast implant and a tummy tuck, otherwise known as a mommy makeover. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the room, show you what we're setting up for her pulp post-op and that's after surgery and this is the pre-op which is pre-surgery before surgery the setup okay so um i'm gonna take you in and see um what's going down what's going down hold on Okay, so here she has put a plastic over the bed itself, and then she went ahead and put some chucks on top. Those are those blue pads um, that she's got laid out above there. And she also went ahead and put her charger next to her just to make sure she has that when she needs it. And again, next to her, there is some gauze in case we need it to clean the incision site. Okay. Now over here we have extra pillows and I'm sure she's going to need those because she probably will be in a reclined position. And in this here closet, we have a few other things that she brought along with her um, as she may need. These are just some personal items right here and tea that she loves. And then, he and then here in the back, she has the Heba cleanse that she will take a shower with um, the day before the surgery and the day of the surgery. It's an um, antimicrobial soap that she'll use. Then she brought along with her a few vitamins, peroxide in the back with a black bottle right there. And she's got some Q-tips um, if needed to clean the incision sites or wherever she needs to clean. There is also gloves. You have to stay um, sterile and um, sanitary during this procedure. And right here, she's got her vitamins and Juven in the back, vitamin C. And she's also has collagen that helps with wound healing, some gauze and her pre-op drinks. Okay, and those she will drink the night prior to the surgery. It says pre-op right on there. And there's the collagen. You have some tape, some band-aid, and that's what she'll be needing. 
she made sure. Here we have your bathroom, tub, toilet, and sink. Okay, pretty basic. And that's how you have it. Now guys, the way how the bed is set up right now, um, she is going to put another sheet over the uh, chucks that are on top there. So don't think it's going to stay that way and she's going to be sleeping on the plastic, okay? She is going to put another sheet on top of that. All right, so that's the room in a nutshell. Okay, so I'm back. No makeup. <laughs> Anyways, um, you will also receive instructions from your surgeon prior to surgery as to what they need. You are definitely going to be doing some lab work and your body mass index weight um, should be a certain level and some surgeons probably won't take you if your body mass index weight is too high they call it the bmi so your surgeon will tell you what they prefer you to be at so everybody is different okay so i'm um, not going to share with you what her levels were but i want to tell you we are good to go for surgery tomorrow okay so just check with your surgeon make sure that when you're going to do your surgery Look for a reputable person. Make sure you at least know somebody that went to that person. And double check, triple check, make sure. Because you're going under, you know what I mean? And you want to come out with that summer body, right? So stay tuned, guys. We have a lot more for you. I'm going to be talking with her a little bit too to see if she's nervous, if she's scared, what's going on, going through her head. We just got to make sure because I know like the day before your nerves and your adrenaline is all up, 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 up. But um, we're going to be fine. So stay tuned. I know, no makeup, no makeup, no makeup. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I'll see you in a bit. So sis, Yo. are you nervous? Guys, she said she had a high tolerance of pain. That's what she's saying now. I had two kids 19 years ago, 20 years ago. I was young. I'm old now. <laughs> pain is different. Pain. It's beauty is pain, pain, right, ladies? And we know that all too well. Beauty is pain. Okay, so why Miami, sis? Why Miami? Well, it's cheaper. Also, I had a few friends that went to the surgeon, so uh -huh. I liked his work, and I didn't want to go out of country. I don't think it's safe. Too many women are dying, and I feel like I can always get to Miami if anything happens. Mm -hmm. And I travel for work, so okay. any given time, I might be in Miami. All right. And so, hmm, how did you hear about this surgeon? Uh, as I just said, three of my friends had um, mini skinny videos, also mommy makeovers. Oh. So I like his work. He's double board certified. Um, What's his name? Dr. True Manson. Oh, Dr. True Manson. Yeah. Okay. So he's double board certified. I like what I see with my friends. So. I prefer to go to someone that I already see their work. As you know, another surgeon canceled on me in April. Aww. But it is what it is. Everything has to be a reason. So yes. we just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Shut the line. Now I'm, I see his work. Uh huh. And she went back after her skinny DVL. So. Okay. And I mean, she had no butt. She got cute. <laughs> <butt now. laughs> This, but your butt is cute now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about her other friend. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. So, um, what entailed in the payment? Did, did you have to? You could do a payment plan, or you could pay for it up front. Mm -hmm. I paid for it because I was able to. Okay. Uh, they do tell you if you pay up front, it's a VIP. I thought they were lying, but they did make it VIP. I was able to come and get pre-op and the surgery on the same day. Some people may not like that, but I wanted to do it that way so I don't stress out over it. Okay, but, that's nice, that's nice. But you're able to pay for it, uh -huh. you know, monthly. 
until time. You have a week to get your blood work in, which is good. At least it's not a month in case something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. Look at me trying to cover my belly. Soon uh, let's, let's zoom in. Soon she's going to be crop top selling. Yes. That's her before, guys. <laughs> Check it. <laughs> hey. But that's about it. Oh yeah, she gonna have her summer body ready for the Miami Beach. Summer body in the winter. Yeah. Hey, it's summer all day when you get a BBL, right? Well, I ain't or a mommy BBL. makeover. It's a summer mommy makeover. All day with a mommy makeover. That's right. That's right. Okay, so and you needed a nurse. Why? Cause I need someone to take care of me. My daughter is also here, but she's mm -hmm. not experienced just in case something. I recommend if you have someone in the nursing field, thank God I have my beautiful sister, um, to take care of you. I think you should. They offer nursing services. I wouldn't do it with just a friend not knowing how to take care of me. Mm -hmm. So I recommend it and take it with you guys. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. You see my t-shirt? Vacay. Twice a year. Six months. No, I'm not on vacay. I'm here for my friend. We're doing this. We're doing this. You better not be yelling at me tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a tough nurse. <laughs> she gonna get it, guys. She gonna get it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going easy on her. Um, after surgery, I'll go ahead and show you two what um is entailed after that so stay tuned part two Hi guys, good morning and today it's day two here in Miami and I'm going downstairs now to wake up my client. Um, last night she drank two of these as ordered by her doctor and it says here it's a CF pre-op complex carbohydrate pre-surgery drink and they have flavors. She got hers in the watermelon and she drank two of these last night before she became NPO, which is nothing by mouth, okay? Nothing by mouth is NPO. So uh, she's asleep right now, I'm gonna wake her up and have her take her shower with her Hyba Cleanse, what I told you about yesterday. Yes, I do have my doobie on and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so ladies, guys, I will see you in a bit. Got a little horse, the AC, it's the AC. Florida weather, Florida weather. Okay, so guys, the day of surgery, it is recommended that you wear loose fitting clothes. And for her surgery place, um, they did recommend also that she bring cash with her. Well, of course, I'm gonna deal with the cash. And she has her loose fitting clothes on. I'll show you a picture of that. And um, she also brought her robe. Okay, so surgery is scheduled um, for 7.30. So we're going to be on her way in a little bit. I'll see you in a second. Locked and loaded. I'm Claudia Fernandez and that's traffic. This report is sponsored by my app. to worry about your vision. I did my LASIK procedure over 20 years ago. At
Can I take? Oh, I gotta give him my phone. Okay. No, you need your phone because sometimes our calls don't go through, so we need you guys to call them just in case. So okay. keep your phone. And my cards. Yeah, you need to show the cards that you. Oh, yeah. you need a card for me. Do I need my insurance card? No. Give her hugs. <laughs> Bye, mom. I love you. Be you got this. You got this. You, you got, got this, girl. girl. Okay, so we got the phone call that my client is ready. We're here to pick her up, and surgery was a success. Yes. So we're so excited. Super stoked. Gonna get her right now. So if you don't see any um, footage from that, it's because she's in a world of hurt. So. Hi guys, so my client made it home well, surgery went well, um, had a little bit of difficulty getting into bed, didn't want to videotape all that, but she made it, she got into bed, and um, as far as I can see, she has uh, a binder around her waist, and she has her surgical bra on, and she has one JP Pratt, which is a Jackson Pratt that holds the drainage. And um, she also came with her special instructions as to how to proceed from here. So right now I just gave her to Tylenol. I'm going now to pick up her prescription. Um, they put her on Keflex, um, that's an antibiotic. And she's to take Tramadol and she could take Tylenol in between as well. So now um, I just em emptied her Pratt. It was 50 cc's full, so we're to get like 30 to 50 cc's out of it. Right now it was um, definitely just straight blood. Okay, and um, she's resting right now. And in an hour, I'm gonna wake her up because she has to walk 15 minutes every hour. No laying around. And that, I'm not gonna play with her. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna write some notes and um, I took her vitals, everything looks fine. So uh, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so as you can see, day one was successful, surgery went well, everything's fine. We started her on our antibiotics, she took a few pain medication, she did her walk and um, emptied her Jackson Pratt a few times. So, so far, so good. So, day one's down, day two to go. I'll keep you posted. Today is day two post-op and she is at uh, Seduction, the second center. Um, in Florida here she went in for her 
massage this morning, so or I should say this afternoon. So I'm out here in the parking lot. I'm just waiting for her. Of course, you know we cannot film in these centers. You know what I'm saying? HIPAA, those privacy laws, and everything like that. So she went in, and I'm down here. I'm about to go eat some lunch, and I'll show you how she's doing. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling like she's doing much better today. She walked all night, took her pain meds. You gotta stay on your pain medication, and um, she's doing well. A little sore, but better than yesterday, of course. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Creams and the stuff that they supplied, and um, she's doing well. So I'll show you some of her dresses and stuff um, later, and then we'll wrap it up, okay? Because I can't show you anything more until like, um, a week or two post up so you can see the dressing when she um, the areas when she takes the dressing off and such all right I'll see you guys in a bit Hi guys, good morning. And today is my last day here with Sissy. Yes, it's my last day. And she just went in for her um, massage this morning. She's doing great, has been walking around and everything. So I'm gonna talk to her a little bit about how she feels and if she would do it again. So how was your massage? It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Yeah. So was it yeah. worth it, Kimmy? <laughs> you really wanna know the truth? Yes. Looking at my body, I was feeling the pain. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> she said, hell no. The pain is not worth it, but it's worth it. It's a good, bad pain. <laughs> it's a that good, bad sense. pain. Okay, so you'll hear more in a little bit. Okay, so we're back at the homestead, and just going to ask her, so you said it was worth it, the pain wasn't worth it, but how about bringing a nurse? Absolutely worth it. You need someone there with you to make sure... You could get to stuff because ain't no joke that pain. I just got a massage. I know I look horrid and I don't want to continue looking horrid, but I feel better than I look. I can say that. But nurse 100%. You definitely need. That's it. 
all right guys so you hear from the source you definitely need a nurse when you go on these trips don't try to do it on your own because sometimes you could run into some kind of trouble that you don't know what to do or you need a friend or someone to go with you and if you do call me or look at my email down below and you'll see my my um, contact information okay so again I want to thank you again for rolling with Jackie thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time bye